at last. Oh, oh, I couldn't resist. That's one of my favorite 11 o'clock numbers. Sutton, from... Sutton has nothing on you. No, little women. <laughs> little Maybe women. someday they'll do the little brothers and I can, <laughs> I can see that as well. What a great That's show. Great. And we're going to talk about that today. We little women. And there's another women. show we're talking about. What's the other show? Today? Yeah. <laughs> just Little Women. Oh, Just Little Women today. I thought <laughs> all we were... of them. The all, of all of them. All of the Little all Women. All the Little Women. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, Wonderful. Well, and it is a special episode because it is, it is a birthday episode today. Yeah. So let's sing let's Happy, sing happy birthday. birthday. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Barb. It's happy not, Birthday to you. It's not my birthday. It's not my it's birthday. Your, I just had my birthday. Why are we doing a birthday episode? Wait, well, whose, whose birth birthday is it? <gasps> it's Brenna's Brenna! birthday! Our producer and camera person. And IT department. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do her favorite recipes today, and we're going to run the camera. So, so we sit apologize back. in yes. advance. Sit back and relax and watch the shaky camera. So we're going to make Brenna come be our sous chef. So I'm going to go take the camera okay. and start out. Well, let's tell them what we're making. Oh, first. right, right. Okay, what are we so making? we asked Brenna her favorite things, but mm -hmm. don't worry, we're not talking about the sound of music. <laughs> uh, and she likes Mexi rolls mm. from Taco John's. And, and we're going to do her favorite birthday cake. We'll show you how we'll do that a little bit later. But it's easy, easy, easy. And it's going to be great. We like easy. So, and in addition to the Mexican theme, I'm going to make chili reños. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she's had those before, has she? I know. She's, I'm going to make oh, her try them. Okay, see if she great. likes them. That'll be our little yes. gift to her. Yes. So I'm going to go <laughs> take the camera. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. The big switcheroo has begun. Oh, boy. Got it? I got it. Okay. Here she comes. Yay. The fabulous Yay. Brenna. And we're going to make her tell us why she likes this and any stories related. And I see my smell. I'm going to stir this. These are for your Mexi rolls. And we're going to jump in. Okay. So for the Mexi rolls, Brenna sent me the recipe. And I was like, <laughs> well, this is the easiest thing we've ever made. Well, thank you very much. I don't fry things. So that's why it intimidated me. Right. But I grew up with Taco John's. We didn't have Taco Bell. Oh, so like in my yes. hometown, there was Taco John's. It wasn't sad. It was so delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our neighbors owned it. So we were there a lot. Um, oh, still my head goes like every weekend morning. <laughs> but they don't make? They don't make Mexican rolls anymore, which is so has saddened so many people that I found a recipe for it on Reddit, which I was like, hey, can we, we should make these can sometimes. We make these? Yeah. And if you're missing these Mexican rolls, we're going to show you how to make them. So easy. So we're starting with a pound of ground beef. Okay, that sounds right. Cooking it. Actually, I cut this in half, but I already made some earlier. <laughs> so a pound of ground beef, and you're gonna cook it up okay. and then drain it. This is already cooked up. Have you added anything to it? You're just browning it. I just browned it. Okay. Yeah. And then, according to the recipe, the next thing I'm gonna add is. Refried beans? Four ounces of refried beans. Does that sound right? I don't, well, you know, I never knew what was inside of them. Surprise! <laughs> just ate the it's Mexican, it's refried beans. Deep fried goodness. The deep fried goodness. We're yeah. going to put that in there. Okay. Do you want to stir that up? Yep. Okay. Are those homemade refried beans? They are not. <laughs> Good gosh, no. Um, four ounces of shredded cheese. I use the sharp cheese because, you know, we like our cheese smart. We're going to put that in. It's going to. Oh Start God. melting. Yeah, you gotta mix that up. Yeah, you really do. And then just a package of taco seasoning. I bought the best choice brand. Best choice. I find they're all pretty much the same. Um, I'm gonna put this in. You really stick to the spoon, huh? Yeah, I found that yesterday. You kind of have to let that the beans warm up and then they get softer. Okay. I didn't really add any water because. Well, because we're going to freeze it. I'm going to show you in just a second. And do you, is freezing essential to the pre-fry process? I believe it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. I've not kind of, um, fried them up yet. Okay. I made the batch, and I froze them. And I do think they have to be frozen before they go in the oil. That makes sense because in a fast food restaurant, mm -hmm. they probably are frozen. Pre-made them and yep. have them ready to go. Right. So you're going to I feel like I'm going to make a mess. Fine. You're doing just I really fine. vigorously stirred. We're zooming in to see how you're doing. Well, 
Do you want to tell us about your stirring technique? Do you have a special stirring technique? My stirring technique? technique is don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. <laughs> we're, because we're at I Kevin's like, place, so that's okay. Right? Don't worry I about feel like it. I could stir like more heartily. But... You have a low-sided pan. Know, too, we, it, we do have yeah. a low-sided pan. If the yes. pan were higher, you can't. I'm just it's... folding it in, David. Yes. Oh. Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. You just fold it. I could not I, be more plain. I think fold it's... in the cheese. <laughs> I think it's more important that the the uh, utensils match, so we've got all our green out there than to have something that actually works well. It's better to <laughs> look fabulous so, than you know, to be fabulous. That's very Kevin. That's yes. very Kevin. Yes. And I, that's on yeah. brand for you. So. <laughs> so you stir that for a second, okay. and I'm going to show you. Um, the recipe said 10-inch tortillas. Okay. So I got these. And I'm going to do... I think another magic about Mexi rolls was they fried them in the same oil as the churros. Oh. And so sometimes they were like slightly sweet. A little sweet and savory. And actually. I know that that sounds crazy, but I really like it. Oh, there's it. nothing wrong with sweet and savory. <laughs> Not at all. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. They also don't have churros anymore. I talk to John's really disappointing me. No churros? Well, why go? Well, I mean, <laughs> we have to go to Worlds of Fun to get a churro oh, nowadays? There you go. I know that that seems silly, but... Why would they, when maybe I, they don't fry anything. No place anymore. else I have lived until I came back to Kansas City had Taco John's. Like, I grew up with it. I went to K State. At the time, they didn't have one. They have one now. I went to grad school. There was not one in Wichita. I moved to New York. They didn't, they didn't know what I was talking about. Poor Brenna. I know. Poor, poor Brenna. They don't have it in Arkansas. It's a tragedy. It was really sad for me. That looks good. Okay. That's, you know what I say to that? I say that's just astonishing. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good one, Kevin. That's a good, that's a good pun, right? Tell you what? Uh, next row down. Okay. Let's do okay, this. so you kind of want it to be the beans kind of like glue, right? Yeah, I think that's a, a good way bit. to it holds it all together. Yeah, so you can scoop it in. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I see why you didn't add water. You don't really need it. No, because I, I think it would be too wet. Yeah, I agree. I was tempted with the taco seasoning, but once the beans soften up and the cheese melts, I think you're good. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring this over here. Okay. Got it. Yep. So I have my tortilla ready to go. Okay. Are we and done with this? We're done with that. I'm gonna scoop this. Now, once I did some reading online, and one person said we kind of put it in something like a cock gun. <laughs> That's yeah, what I realized. Yeah, and said it. Whatever. Mine were maybe a little too big. Yeah. That they might be more like taquitos. They can never be too big. Well, I agree. Well. But I'm gonna try to make this one a little If it was skinnier. raw food, then I would say it might be a problem because then you have to cook it. But yeah. Right, but it's not. So the meat is cooked, so That's who cares? what I'm gonna put in there. Okay. okay. And then I just, I did this and I rolled it on itself. Mm -hmm. Now, is this something that you would have on your birthday or is this just some one of your favorite foods? Every it, other day. It, <laughs> well, the ironic thing about coming home to Kansas City, there is Taco John's, but they're not close. Yeah. There's one nothing right by my house. Perfect. Yes, but that's far from me. I understand. <laughs> Next time we film at my place, Perfect. Yeah. go there. Um, so I would sometimes get it on the way home because there's one in Lansing. Um, but I didn't, still didn't eat it very often. But yes, I would order Mexican meals every time I went home. And they started to have a two-piece. A two-piece. So I would order oh, a two-piece, and that was like perfect. Um, so, so once I've got this rolled up, the recipe says cut them in half. Yeah. I feel like this is so um, a great this British bake-off where I'm just following the directions. Yes. This is fine. These are regular size. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still think they could be skinnier maybe, but oh, maybe. this is, the, then you freeze them. So here's the ones that were frozen. Yeah. That looks right. And we're going <laughs> to, we're going to. We'll add that sound effect later. Knock, yes. knock. Clunk, clunk. Later we're going to deep fry these. Caulk, caulk. In just a minute, we're going to deep fry these. So I do think you want to make sure they're frozen. Yeah. Okay. okay. And that's, that's it. It's easy. It's, it's easy. It's easy. The oil still intimidates me a little bit. Well, we're going to do that. Don't okay. worry. It's going to be fine. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is um, chili rellenos, which I learned to make when I worked at Gutierrez. If anybody lived in Salina... They also had one in Hayes, and I think they had one in Lawrence, a family-owned Mexican restaurant. Hmm. I worked there when I was in college, Okay. and they were my husband's favorite thing. So I said, you have to teach me how to make it. So you want to get, you used to be able to buy whole green chilies. Right. I could not find any, so I roasted my own poblano, not spicy, mild, and cut them in half, put them under the broiler, and then I peeled the skin off. 
This is what you get. So you've already done most of the work on so that. that doesn't, does that smell a little spicy to you? A little bit? A little, but only because that's a smell I associate with being spicy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, we're going to see. And our wrapper for this are egg roll wrappers. Oh, like mm -hmm. wonton. Oh, okay. They're a little bigger, I think, than wontons, but okay. uh, they're in, uh, mine are in the, by the fruits and lettuce and stuff. And I would have assumed it was a tortilla. I know you never assume yeah, that. That's true. You know what happens. Well. You end up with a tortilla instead of an egg roll wrapper. That's why she's on the camera most weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> I cut those in half. So here's the green chili, okay. and I'm going to put a couple of nice pieces in there. And then you take Monterey Jack cheese, a block, yeah, and you're just gonna cut a nice chunk of cheese. Wow, that's a chunk of cheese. That's a chunk of cheese. Looks, that is, is a now that's, we're gonna that's like a Paula Dean stick of butter. It is <laughs> like a little Christmas present. Okay, wrap it up on itself. Now this is just flour and water. Okay, make a paste. Making a little paste. Okay, getting our edges. That's it. That's it. Look Just at that. Make a little, little package. A little package. Okay. They're easy to make, and I've already made some, so we can fry them. So this is what they look like. And you could stick these in the freezer too. I think you would. I just refrigerated these. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna fry these up in just a minute, and you're gonna try one. And I think you'll like it. Okay. It is. I mean, I like I cheese. Like, so. I think it's, you're gonna like it. Yeah. Okay. And before we go. I want to ask, I always ask Kevin trivia questions about our show, and this is one of your favorite shows. It's the first Broadway musical I ever saw in uh -huh. New York. With, with Sutton? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sutton and Maureen McGovern, and my mom bought us tickets in the orchestra, and I was like, Little Women's a musical mom. Like, you couldn't pick anything more exciting than this. Can we go see Phantom? <laughs> I know. How wrong was I? You were wrong. Um, it was so good, and we loved it so much, and we bought, I remember buying the cast recording, like, you know, in the merchandise yes. space. And we just loved it, and I've been a Sutton fan ever since. Um, was she nominated? She won she didn't win though, because she'd already won for Millie at the time. I know. But right? She, to whom did she lose? Oh gosh, I have no idea. There was only one Tony nomination for this show. And it was Sutton. And it was Sutton. Yeah. Which is crazy because the orchestration is gorgeous. Like I, know. I think the it musical is. is so beautiful. But I'll tell you what won and you'll kind of go, oh. So that would have been two thousand I saw it in 2005. That was, it, it actually started at a workshop at Duke University. Really? Which I thought was interesting. It oh. opened in January of 05. Yep, I saw it in March or April. So had it's spring break. Previews. March, March. What does that have to do with the show? <laughs> oh boy, he's with the puns no. today. Hey, hey, just film. No, answer the, that's a good trivia <laughs> question. Because it's, it's the last name. name. Because they march. They yeah. all join the army. I there think. you go. I can't remember when my spring break was, but I saw it in the spring. Yeah, make sure that's not getting too hot. 55 preview seems like a lot. It seems normal? like a lot. It seems to me like they were tweaking things. And then it ran for 137 performances. It was just a few months, right? Yeah, it ran for about five months. Yeah. But, okay, so your trivia question is, to whom did Sutton lose the Tony for Best Actress in a Musical? Oof. I don't and when I tell you who won, you'll know what won Best Musical. We stood in the TKHTS line, but I do not remember what else was on stage that Victoria spring. Clark. Mm, I know. Right in the piazza. Oh, that's Kevin's favorite. So that's what one best favorite. Well, sure. That's my favorite. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll throw out more trivia. Well, oh boy. That Kevin can read or you okay. can look at because there's some fun things. Are you going to fry up that? Yes. You ready, you ready for me to fry? Ready okay. for you to fry. I'm check the temperature, we right? want to fry it about uh, 350. I'm coming around. Okay. Well, it's coming. not even bubbling, but that's okay, right? Yeah. Don't put it at the very We're checking the temperature, checking the on, temperature the oil. on the oil. 360, set 390. Yeah, Ooh. turn it down a little bit. 403, 406, 407. Of course, this is yeah. frozen, so I don't mind it being a little hot. 414. Oh, it keeps okay. going up. <laughs> I'd say it's pretty hot. I think we're, we're good. I think we're good. Frozen. Right over there. Right oh, behind. sorry, they're right behind you. Yeah, okay. Now, I always worry, so I like to put it in with something. With your finger, with not your fingers? Not my fingers. Yeah, that's probably pretty brilliant. I'm gonna do one just to, here we go. Oh, look at that. Now, really, my gauge is just until it's golden brown. So should we have a plate with a paper towel? Yeah, we should. 
Oh, oh my, it's bubbling up. Because yes, it's so hot. It's so hot, there we go. Here we're getting a plate and we just need a paper towel. I have one. Oh. And I'm gonna unclip this. Just remember the inside is already cooked, so basically you're just right. cooking we're just the outside. Crisping this up. Look at it puff up, that's so it funny. Up. Um, probably should have wrapped it a little tighter. That's okay. But I bet it's I'm sure it'll taste good. good. Yes. A few seconds on this side. I'm gonna tell my secret about frying and stuff in oil since okay. it's on the side of the camera. So when you put your um, food in and it starts to fry up, yeah, you have to wait. Well, you won't since now we were at 400, but you have to wait for it to get back up to temperature before you do the next one. So oh, if, if it were at 350 to start out with, then after we fried that, it would be about 315, but whatever. It's still hot enough. Is yeah. that just because in. the lid is off or because the no. food took the heat? It's because the food, you're putting cold, cold food, food in into Got warm Got it. oil. That sounds like so, science. Yeah. So when you're, when you're doing fried chicken, you'll do a batch, maybe th two or three. And the other thing, don't overload it. Um, so you put two or three pieces of fried chicken in and you fry it and then you take it out and then you give it five minutes or so for the oil to come back up to heat. Mm -hmm. Get it back up. Because that keeps your food from getting too oily. I feel like you couldn't make these in the air fryer, could you? Uh, I just feel like you know, I fun. tried chili rellenos in the air fryer and it didn't go so well. Okay. But all yeah. the cheese like exploded uh, out of it. I don't know how else to describe it. I think you it. could par, um, fry them and then finish them off in the air fryer, but that kind of defeats the it, purpose It of does, because if I got the yeah. oil hot, I'm just going to use it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Okay. So the little rien goes, oh, that's probably roll. way bigger than a Mexi yeah. roll. It is, but I don't care. care. It's so um, fine. So all I would say is maybe yeah. cut the tortilla and wrap it once. Okay. Um, because I have a feeling yeah. those tortillas are puffing up. It looks I, like a burrito. I did use yeah. to pick the end off anyway. Because I think it's too much, you Ooh, know. here come the rellenos. Look at that, golden brown. It smells good. Mm -hmm. it smells like when my parents had a fry daddy. You remember those oh, things? Oh, yes. <laughs> How come the first one's so Look much bigger? The, the rellenos? No. Oh, you're doing the rellenos now. These yes. are rellenos. Oh, sorry. These sorry. are two different things. This sorry, is the Mexi roll. I missed it, folks. Which is probably way too big. <laughs> and these are the chili rellenos. And a little like sour cream, a like little uh -huh. salsa. I used to dip this in cheese. And Guacamole. Sorry, it's probably not exactly what I'm you sure were thinking. Fine. So there you have it. We're going to... Do you want to try? You kind of want to these one out. Well, okay. You might want to wait just a second before a you try. Hot, Another hot. pointer on hot oil. Don't eat the food yeah, right out of the oil. Let me cut this in half and try it. Listen, I hope you can hear that. Oh. Middle's still frozen. I've got I've to work oh. on my frying skills. That's why that's why you don't want to fry it too hot and too fast because mm -hmm. the inside if you're making right. them you know well, if they're coming out of the freezer so we're trying the hot end. I'm gonna try the hot end, baby. And I'll refry one for later. Mm. It's so cold. It's cold. <laughs> but the crunch is But the crunch even better. Mm. But I can tell it would be good if it was right. Right. Yeah. Well, it just needs to be warmer. Yeah. We'll do a post-show tasting. I know you're worried about this puffing up, but I kind of like it. I do too. Okay. That should be fried longer too. Because is the cheese supposed to be melty? It's supposed to be more melty. Yeah. Mm. That's so pretty good. Well, it's not spicy. It's not. Mm. It's good. I like it. Let's hope Kevin can get the cake right. I think I can get the cake right. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna trade off. I'm okay. gonna like this. Mm. All right, clean up your spot there so I can work. Let's go, let's go. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask Brenna a question while you're cleaning up. Okay. Um, have you ever been in Little Women? No. No. Sadly. And mm -hmm. is that like one of your lifelong dreams? I would say that Joe March is like my bucket list for sure and has been since I saw it in 2004. So this is your platform to talk to all your <laughs> all your all your director friends and say Well, and now the challenge is I did get someone to produce it in Arkansas and then I didn't make it into the show. Oh. Um, so I need somebody somebody has to do it. Mm -hmm. That's not so far away that I have to drive really really far every night. Right. Um, yes. Why? Why wouldn't someone do it? It's such a beautiful show, and there are parts for six women. Then they all have songs. Six women. Well, I feel like that's you know oh, always a six, problem. Six women with brain death. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what I six mean? Six women like, who march. Six oh, women. Wow. Who march. 
Well, as you can see, we have we have changed camera operators. So, um, in the comments below, you can write down who you think the better operator is. We know Brett is number one. <laughs> yes, there you go. All right. This stick makes it easier. So tell us about this cake that we're doing. This is your favorite cake, I understand. So and it's your birthday cake. It's it's a favorite of my family's. Okay. When I was younger, I often asked for yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Okay. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. As but you can see, this is not a yellow cake. It's not. <laughs> so there must be more to the story. Right. So my grandma would make this cake. Okay. A lot of people call it better than sex cake. Oh. But Grandma Marge was not going to be saying that. So <laughs> you say Grandma Marge? Yeah, that's her. That's, that's her. Grandma's name is Marge. <laughs> see, it all we it plan all these comes on back advance, around, folks. So it all <laughs> works out together. We're never surprised about <laughs> anything on this show. <laughs> She calls it call it what you want cake. Call it what you want cake. And I like that. my sister and I lived together in college and I would often make it for her. Okay. And my cousin's now husband, boyfriend at the time, she didn't go to college with us, but he did. And I would make it for him too. Oh, fun. He loved it. But it's really easy and I... It's kind of a takeoff on a poke cake. Oh, poke, yes. Poke cakes have become really popular now. You have to yes. poke it, pour whatever you want into it. Yeah. So what we have here, this is a German chocolate cake, mm -hmm. which is made right out of a box that we got at the grocery store. Very easy. You add some oil, some water, and some eggs, and you put it in the oven, and you bake it for about 35 minutes in a 9 by 13 pan, and you have a pre-prepared German chocolate cake. Yes, because you have to make it, let it cool. Yeah, it's going to cool. That's important. Yeah. I also would not recommend using regular chocolate cake. Because right. I think that's too rich. Too rich. I mean, it's already yeah, rich. Yeah, because we're not going to put anything rich on it. Right well, that's so, what I mean. It yeah. would be too much. But yeah. the German chocolate also is a little bit denser. Right. Which kind of holds up the toppings and the stuff. So we have very few ingredients. We have the pre-made cake yep. um, from the cake pan, uh, from the um, box mix. And then we have a can of sweetened, uncondensed, uh, sweetened condensed milk. And we have some caramel. And we have some... Uh, with topping yep. and the piece de resistance, we have some Butterfinger candies here. How yeah. convenient and that then, Halloween is happening. And can... Yeah, the nice thing about, <laughs> about doing it after Halloween is that you get all these smaller ones, so when we break them up, it'll be much easier. Yep. So I'm going to put you to work on uh, okay. during the poking. Okay. Okay? Yep. So you'll know how much, how many ways A to A lot poke. of people will use heat bars for the top okay. of this cake. Um, also, my grandma would put nuts on it. My sister and I, I know Barb, are not fans of pecans. Nuts. And so, so we're not doing pecans. Small because it's character pecans. flaw that we I know it. I'm sorry. slide. But you know, the funny thing is, is now my mom cannot have them. So <laughs> we don't have them anymore. My poor Look, dad. She, she's making a pattern. Is I, there a reason that you're poking it this way? I know it's going to sound crazy, but I've always done it this way simply because you don't want to make too many holes. Okay. And so... I, I don't know how else to space them out. You could just jab, you could just jab at it. I just well, never I'm have. A, I'm a pattern person myself, so I'm all with you on this one. I like to make them concentric. Yes, very good. Um, but also it's nice to go um, closer to the edge. Okay. Because that... if the topping doesn't get to the edge, eventually that part dries out. Um, and I say that because this is something, you have to keep it in the fridge because of all these toppings. And you cannot eat, unless you have like 10 people, you can't eat this in a single day. You have to eat pretty small pieces. Challenge accepted. Listen, yeah. you're gonna make yourself uh, sick. Yes. Because it's well, you, very you rich. You can find a whole healthy menu with us with the fried food. <laughs> right, and this, right, there's this nothing rich. healthier you than a Mexi roll. But my yeah. favorites were, you didn't say what do you eat every no, day. No, 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 <laughs> that's a whole different episode. Right, right. Um, Look at that, that's beautiful, I hate to cover it up. Well, that's okay. But the edges will get dry if you don't poke holes you know, close to the edge. Well, I don't think it's going to get dry with what we're going to do with it next. Listen, you say that, but I'm telling you. Okay, so we're going to take this sweet and condensed Don't milk. argue with the birthday girl. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just trying to be constructive. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pour yep. the milk yep. over the cake. You just want to evenly disperse. <laughs> and eventually it seeps down into the holes. The funny thing is, after you've had this cake for a few days in the fridge, you'll see the milk on the bottom of the pan. <laughs> Well, you it mean it'll last that long? Well, it depends on who's in your house, I guess. Yeah. So I'm trying to get all the holes covered. Yep. That's my plan here. I feel like I must pour this on when it's hot sometimes. I think oh, I have see, ignored my mom's instructions see, of cool. My mom had some, to cool it. Some things in the instructions that weren't listed. All right, so I'm just going to use the spoon. Yeah, that's totally fine. 
I'm yep, got it. You. And you see my cakes coming off in this, but trust me, it it's, matter, it's so. not gonna matter. Right. And then for the caramel, you don't have to use this whole thing. No, I wasn't planning on it. Okay, <laughs> well, because my grandma would take a jar of caramel topping. Yes, it used to come it's supposed to be eight ounces. ounces. Yes. And that's 22 ounces, so oh I thought we could make two maybe, or we'll see. We sure can. All right, so now what do we do? So then now you pour the caramel on just the same fashion. It's also kind of sticky. It is kind of sticky. And remember, that's going to seep down into the holes. Mm -hmm. Just like a poke cake, right? I mean, yes, that is. That's exactly yeah. what we just did, a poke cake. Right. All right. I think I used more than eight ounces, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No. Because no it's a birthday be, surprise. Nobody would be mad about you about that. All right. The next step is we're going to put the uh, whipped topping on top. <laughs> she knows She's ready. Coming. She's going to break up these... Uh, Butterfingers. There's about 10 ounces of Butterfingers here. And I'm going to put the... Sorry, that's kind of loud, I'm sure. I'm sorry. I can talk over it. Well, you certainly can. So can I. I've been told I have a powerful voice. I have. I, I think I might have said that to you, in fact. Well, you may have, but someone else said it as well. Oh, okay. All right. They're trying to make me feel better about being loud. It's so bad for you. <laughs> Nothing's bad for you on your birthday. Oh, uh, well. I would recommend to our friends to watch their blood sugar. Watch it go up. <laughs> yes, Barely watch it. any of it. I was talking to Drea about that a couple weekends ago. She yeah. tried that cider. Oh, yes. And she said, I can't drink very much of this. Look at that. One You're good with that package. Cool whip. I am. I'm a cool whip person from way back. All right. Mm -hmm. And now, what do we do with these? You just sprinkle it over the top. Sprinkle it over the top. That just seems a little decadent to me. I mean, why not? Oh, my gosh. Folks, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> it's so good. You'll want to get an invite to Brenna's birthday party. Oh, are we throwing a party? Well. That sounds like fun. Well, because my actual birthday is still a couple weeks away, oh. but it's so close to Thanksgiving, we have to do Thanksgiving stuff on that episode. Do you want some of the cream to peek through, or do you want it completely covered? Um, I mean, it always depends on how much Butterfinger you use. Well, how much you do you can want? You can completely cover it. Right? All right. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Why don't you grab a couple of plates out? Oh, yeah. And we'll cut her up. Good call. I would say, if I were making this, I would make this in advance yes, and, and put it in the fridge, the fridge so yep. that it has time to uh, seep through. I agree. It's kind of like a um, um, dolce de leche cake. You want the milk to get all the way through. That's all I'm going to do because okay, we'll use this right here. Let's take our plates. I mean, we'll just do one for right now. Oh, I like the way you're going to serve this up. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Very smart. Oh, wait. I should have done it this way. But here. I'm starting over. Okay. This is much better. And I love it. I'm here for it, Kevin. Holy cow. You told me you need that much crap. Well, it's, so it's much you have to have more for television, my dear. Right, right. Okay, then you put your, because this will stick to it now. I mean, there you see now. Right. See how much better that is, folks? There you go. Holy cow. I about you only get that kind of stuff here. Do you want a new knife? A new knife. Well, you know where the knives are. Grab a knife I real do. quick. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be a good, I'm a good sous chef or That's not. beautiful. That's perfect. Okay. All right. And since it's birthday. Oh, there's candles. We have to have some candles. You know, I have learned that having happy birthday sung by theater people is the best. Well, we sang it at the beginning of the show. Did I you know. not get that? No, I did. But that's my point because they are such good singers. I like this representation of my age. Yeah, there you go. I'm here for it. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you, happy birthday, birthday to, to you, happy birthday, birthday dear Brenna, happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> I didn't want to blow up. I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
I only lit three. I did blow the candles out on the company cake, but it was a fake cake, <laughs> so it didn't matter. I'm gonna just cut a small piece. Yeah, here. yeah, for the plate. Yeah. Butterfinger everywhere. I'm gonna get a fork here and get this corner piece out and see if it's just the way you remember it. You have to kind of fall apart on you, doesn't it? It does, because it's got a lot of stuff in there. I think we made it. Ooh, look at that. Make sure you zoom in on that, Barbie. Zoom in on that. <laughs> All right. Birthday girl. Okay. Have a taste. Mmm, I'm tasting the outside. It's good. Right? This is good cake. Is it the way you always remembered it? It's not as cold, but that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not hot enough. That's not cold enough. No, Grab yourself no. nice for a birthday, and this is what you get. <laughs> No, I, I agree with you on the chill at first, but yes. it tastes really fine. Yeah, but you can see here, if you look through, you can see how the the um, toppings have dripped through, started to drip through. So I did some good holes? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Well, folks, Barb is drooling behind the camera to get to this cake. So we're going to say goodbye for today, and we're going to say a special happy birthday to you. Thank you. Our dear, dear friend who is the behind-the-scenes person that really... Does most of the work. <laughs> so thank you for that. You're welcome. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you. And we'll see you next week on Sing for Your Supper. Bye. Bye-bye.